Hi, in this video we are going to talk about stack abstract data types, so let's get started. As I said earlier, it is an abstract data type. We usually represent abstract data types with interfaces, for example in Java. The basic operations are the pop, the push, and the peak. It has a so-called LIFO structure, which means that last in, first out. So the last item we insert is going to be the first item we take out. It's very important that in most high-level programming languages, a stack can be easily implemented either with arrays or link lists. And a number of programming languages are stack-oriented, meaning they define most basic operations, for example, adding two numbers, printing a character on the console or so on, as taking their arguments from the stack and placing any return values back on the stack. So for example, we have this push operation. We put the given item to the top of the stack. It is a very simple operation. It can be done in order one, so constant time complexity. So we would like to push the 12 on the stack. We just insert it. Then we push the 56. We are going to put it on the top of the 12. We are going to push 88. It's going to be the next item we push into the stack. Okay, so the push operation is basically adding items to the stack. What about the pop operation? We take the last item we have inserted to the top of the stack. This is the so-called LIFO structure, as I said earlier. So the last item we have inserted will be the first item we take out. It's a very simple operation. It can be done also in constants or ordo one time complexity. So if we call the stack.pop, it's going to pop the last item we have inserted. And we inserted the 88, so that's why it's going to be popped out of the stack. Okay, what if we call the pop method again? Then it's going to pop out the next item, which is the 56. So what about the peak operation? It's going to return the item from the top of the stack without removing it. It's again a very simple operation, it can be done in constant time complexity. So what's the difference between the peak and the pop method? The pop method is going to remove the last item from the stack. The peak method is going to show, so it's going to return the value of the last item without removing it. So the size, the items in the stack is not going to change. Okay, so if we call the peak method, it is going to return 88, but the structure of the stack remains the same, which means that we are not going to remove 88, which is going to take the value. So what about the applications of stack abstract data type? Of course, in stack-oriented programming languages, we can use stack as an abstract data type, and lots of lots of graph algorithms rely heavily on stack abstract data types, such as the depth first search can be implemented with the help of stacks. Okay, we can implement it with the help of recursion, but we can implement it with the help of stacks as well. Or finding the Euler cycles in a graph relies heavily on stack abstract data type. Or finding strongly connected components in a graph. For example, for Koshara-U algorithm, we definitely have to use stack as an underlying abstract data type. So basically that's all about stacks in the main. Thanks for watching.